The first thing in the morning on day two, the cars were taken off the chargers and driven to Wegmans for breakfast. Then it was off to Penn State main campus to display the vehicles to the public, do some local trips, and measure cargo capacity. There were some other vehicles at this exhibit. Most were the work of Penn State students. Okay, the team here to be able to use for lectures. Yeah, everything is student No, just kept it pretty simple. And then, yeah, just breaks on both sides. Does she work on it? Okay. That's easy. Yeah. There's Dr. Anstrom being interviewed for the local news. Much to my surprise, not all the EV ones were destroyed. Penn State, along with a handful of other schools, was given an EV1 with the electrical drive system removed. It was really neat to see this car up close and to sit in the driver's seat. It would have been nice to take it for a drive, but the GM restrictions don't allow this car on the road. One part of the competition was to measure the vehicle's cargo capacity. This was measured by filling non-passenger spaces of the car with pre-measured boxes. Each team had 10 minutes to pack their car as tightly as possible, and the total cargo capacity was then measured. An unexpected three-wheeled recumbent bike with electrical assist showed up near the end of the day. It drew a nice crowd and a lot of questions. Oh, wow. Are there pedals in it? Oh, yeah, I'm basically pedaling. It's got assist plus a throttle. Does, does it have reverse? Uh, no, you, you, you wheelchair it. You open wheelchair. up. And, okay. And the shop that got it just got it yesterday. It's used. Huh. This is how you reverse. Oh, cool. Huh. Okay. Old school Finally, the day ended with a general discussion between Dr. Anstrom and the event participants. I have a number in my mind. How many, how many vehicles do you think we could, just off the top of your head, how many vehicles do you think we could handle and why? Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what staffing Thank you, Brian, who's graduating. 